adorable. Okay. Jean, look at the nice lady. Cute little guy, isn't he? Hi, Mark Danning. Welcome to the St. Gregory. Hi. Is there something we can do for you? I, I got a room reserved. Cassie Ray. It's all paid for, isn't it? Oh, uh, yes, it is. I'll get you a bailman. No need for that. I can manage. Oh, here, let me give you a hand. It's a big hotel. Wouldn't want you guys getting lost. I'll show you the way. <laughs> this is your first time in San Francisco. Good Mark. Oh, good, Dave. Wouldn't want the little guy falling out of bed. And I brought up a bottle warmer, too. He's not on a bottle. I, I give him my own. Well, nothing like the real stuff. <laughs> uh, you need anything else? We're okay, thanks. Housekeeping will make up the crib. <coughs> oh, would you like a sandwich? Eight on the bus, but I appreciate, you know, you're asking. If you need me for anything at all, you know where to call, okay? Mark? Yeah. <sighs> thanks. No problem. We'll see you two later. Yes, this is Mr. McLean in uh, 417. Has a Miss Cassie Ray checked in yet? Thanks a lot. 20 minutes ago. Oh. Well, she's right on time. Yeah. Looks great. <laughs> oh. There is nothing to worry about, right? Nothing at all. It's just that we're so close. I don't want Gail. anything to go on. Oh, I know. I know. It's just that's what we thought. When... Honey. Everything's going to work out. You just uh, have to stop worrying, that's all. I'm trying. <laughs> Baby's gonna have sweet dreams. Here comes the Sandman, Eugene. Here he comes. Yeah. Okay. Miss Ray? Miss Ray? It's Gail McLean. down to the coffee shop. What if she left the baby alone? Miss Ray, are you in there? I don't understand that. Where can she be? If she has to eat sometime, <sighs> she'll probably be back in a second. Miss Ray? Cassie, it's Mark Danning. I brought you some supper. It's just me. They've gone. Hi. I thought you might be hungry. I, I am little. You know, the couple I saw, why didn't you come to the door? Got scared. I didn't know what to say. I, I don't understand. Who are they? I, I have to give up my baby. so scared I didn't know where to turn what about your folks couldn't they help daddy's been gone a couple years now mama's got three little ones to feed she said girl you get rid of that baby I couldn't seems like you've had a rough time haven't you well, not as rough as some besides it's not mama's problem it's mine just gotta solve it the best way I can 
Eugene's father, isn't it his problem too? He don't know about it. He works on ships, you know, merchant seamen. He shipped out and, and Eugene Jr. came along. I didn't want him to feel he had to marry me. Wouldn't have been fair. Be like I was trapping him, holding on to something I had no right to. So that's why you're giving him up for adoption? At the hospital, there was this social worker lady. She was real nice to me, too. That's how I met Mr. Fielding, the lawyer. He said not to worry. He'd find Eugene a good home. That couple I saw in the hall. Well, he, he needs lots of things. Deserves them, too. I don't have a job. No way to take care of him. knows I, I don't want to give him up. What else can I do? Sorry, I didn't see you before. I guess I was scared. We understand how difficult it is for you. But just remember, we're all concerned about the same thing, the baby's welfare. I know I can't give him all the things you can. That doesn't mean I don't love him. No, of course not. Isn't he pretty? Got such big eyes, just like his daddy. Could I hold him, please? Sleeping real good. Doesn't cry or anything. I get up around two and feed him. Oh, uh, my doctor has already suggested a formula for Brandon. I keep forgetting he won't be Eugene no more, will he? Cassie, I, I really do understand how you're hurting inside. But we're gonna love him like our own. Mr. Fielding said you lost your first baby. Can't have another? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we've, we've wanted a child for a long time. We've, uh, we've got the nursery all decorated. It's, it's bright and it's pretty and it's got lots of teddy bears. You like that? He's gonna have a good life, Cassie. He is gonna have everything you want for him. I know he will. You'll be real good to him, too. I'll sign the papers like, like I promised. When you grow up, you won't be bad at me, will you? You'll understand why I had to do it. Oh, I love you more than anyone. I want you to have all the good things in life. 
things I can't give you. So don't ever think your mama didn't love you. She did, Eugene. She always will. Right here. you every day. I swear. Who'd have thought she'd be in a place like this? I called everywhere. No one knew where to find her. Cassie! Jane! No, it's all right. He knows about the baby. Honey, you're all packed. Where is he? I already signed the papers. Hello, darling. We're going to go for a little ride. We're just going to go for a little house. Have the right. Sorry to bother you, sir. Mr. and Mrs. McLean. Eugene Eckhart. Eugene? Yes, ma'am. That's my son you're holding. No, not anymore. Cassie signed the papers. Nobody forced her. Well, I know, Look, but I... I had no idea about the baby. She was scared. Too afraid to tell me. I don't have to ship out anymore, honey. There's plenty of work right here in the docks. We're gonna be a family now. It's only right. Look, we went through hell to get our son. You can't think we're gonna give him back now just because you... We're his mom and dad. You want him back? You take us to court. Come on, Gail. We've got a plane to catch. You're so pretty. You are such a beautiful baby. Honey, don't. We'll fight this. We can win. Even if we did, Larry, I'd, I'd always feel that we lost. He belongs with them. We'll just have to try again. Sweetheart, just like she promised. You've made us so happy. I really hope you'll be a family too someday. I hope we will too. No, I know we will. We will. <laughs> 